All right, now the reason I did that last video about how we can discover what P is in any given state um, by becoming really, um, by really existing as this, the reason I did that is so that we can uh, realize how this transfers into a sine graph or a coast graph, okay? So we're going to, if I say graph the sine function, well, I mean, you might already recognize that it looks something like this, but how, how do we, where do these, not line, uh, where did this point come from? Now that's, that's what you need to understand because if you don't, then it just becomes memorization and that's, uh, it's not good enough by itself, okay? Well, let's look at this here. Um, what do we know about radians? Well, um, this here is zero pi. This here is um, pi over two. And this here is pi. And this here is three over two pi. And this is also uh, two pi. Four pi, six pi, eight pi, as you keep going around, okay? That's, that's great. Now, um, what, what does that tell us? Okay, well, if we're gonna graph a sine curve, okay, I'm gonna start with uh, zero being you know, on an x-axis here, or sorry, yeah, uh, the y-axis here is, and this is x, okay. Zero is our starting point, clearly. And I'm going to graph it, I know I have intervals at uh, pi, pi, pi halves, uh, pi, three pi halves, two pi, and everything. So I'm going to put intervals down there. So I've got pi over two, I've got uh, two over two pi, that's one pi. i got three over two pi, and I've got four, um, over 2 pi, okay? Um, and what do we know the amplitude? Well, if uh, this is a unit circle, that means that the, 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 the amplitude of this is, uh, the amplitude of the height of the curve will be 1 and negative 1. Meaning, the highest that it can go, um, uh, the, highest, the, the highest that the, ah, oh, it's hard to describe. The farthest it can go from the origin is 1 in any direction. Okay, so here we show it goes one in this direction, it goes one in that direction. So uh, that's that's going to be the amplitude of it because we're dealing with the unit circle, which is a radius of one. So let's plot our points. Now this looks a little different than what we did before, but back to grade eight, table of values. Um, well, let's just see. Um, at uh, so we have our pi. We'll do our sine. Let's see how it is. Um, at zero, we're at zero pi. Okay, that that makes sense. Okay. Um, now this here again, don't forget, this is cos and this is sine. Okay. So any point where you see a point uh, like a p with a number, we're always going to be dealing with the second value because we're talking about the sine curve. Okay. So at zero pi, our p for sine shows a zero. So that means at zero pi right here we're going to be at a height of zero. Okay, up here. Our sine is our second uh, 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 term in our point. So at pi halves, our sine value is one. So at pi halves, we're at a height of one. Okay, keeping moving around here. Uh, at one pi, our sine value is zero. So our, there's our zero. And at and keep going around at three half pi our sine value is minus one, so there's minus one. And at four halves pi or two pi our sine value is zero again. Okay, so you can see what we have is it looks like if we connect the dots, just as simple as that, it looks like this. However, okay, that's the basic. That's not quite what a sine curve looks like. If we were to look at this p right here, right, we would get a value for sine that would fit between here somewhere, okay? And we could do here and here infinitely, every single spot we could find a p, and every p on this outside of the circle would correspond to a dot that is part of this graph. And what it would turn out to be is something that looks something like this. Nice and curved, like, like that, okay? So
So that's sine, and that's dealing with the, from what we saw in the last video, the second term of our p, so our y value is sine. Okay. And that makes sense, right? x, y, well, this is our height. This is our, there's our, our we're always point x, y. Our sine value is always the height. So it doesn't matter what our radian measure was, you know, two halves, whatever, our height would have been our sine value. There's our height, there's our height, there's our height. That's what we graphed our heights on here, okay? Coast graph, introduction, next vid.